All right, against another priest. Keep thriving, palm reading. Is Solmir worth deleting your pool if the mirror look gives? I mean, it is just the most powerful, like, AoE that priest has available. Um, I mean, you definitely want to be, be cautious of the implications of playing Soul Mirror in some matchups, but... I know Samuro and Zarela in this deck. Well, I'm guessing that you can see that there's a Kazakus in this deck, and you can't really play those in the same deck. But basically, I feel like my, my theory is that Priest is good enough with its removal package against aggressive decks. I actually played this. The th my theory is that Priest is good enough with its removal package against aggressive decks that you can get away with not playing Samuro and Zarela and play Kazakus, and Kazakus gives you... <laughs> uh, that's actually hilarious, as my opponent plays a Kazakus. Kazakus makes you better in, uh, in the other matchups. So we can th thrive for hysterias here. Psyche split can be interesting. We already have a new, another thrive. Yeah, we'll take a psyche split. Give us some flexibility here. We have not played a raised dead. Power in trinkets. Hmm. I smite. I would have assumed smite would have come first, but they had it in hand. Okay. I don't have a Sethic in my deck. Maybe I should have like one Sethic instead of something. Just just having one in the deck actually changes the way that you can play a lot of situations. Okay. Huh. If I want, I could Psyche split this and kind of like go in, which is kind of funny, and then we could, we could kill it with that. I don't think I want to use my coin. Like, if I coin renew, I can coin, or I can just renew this, and then coin something. Just trade here. Probably like one, only one Thrive in the deck or something. I've actually been kind of... Thrive, thrive is actually slightly awkward in this situation. Okay, so the, the raised deads are, like, as I was saying, super powerful with Kazakus and the Golems. My opponent has two Golems, one Sethic, one Wand Maker, and a Kazakus in their pool. Okay. You don't pick the I'm just gonna Al Alex Straza this. The cycle of life is One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. So this will be one cost, but if I coin, it's two cost. Oh, wait, I, no, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a card from this with so zero cost. If I actually um, power fortitude this, they die. I think I have to power fortitude this, because then it dies to. Otherwise, it dies to. Uh, otherwise, um, I die to hysteria because this becomes six ten, so they trade. They, they both die, but I'd much rather buff this, so then we don't die. See? Sure.
There's my Kazamicus. We don't really have a great way to kill this. Just playing Light Shower, Spinko. We don't have a good play after palm reading. One has nine cards. I don't like leaving up a Sethic, but like our hand has no efficient way to actually deal with it. Okay. Do I want a Kazamicus for 10? I think I want a Kazamicus for 10 and just death this. The clear your board guy. I have so many cards. Clear your board guy is not good against my opponent's Divine Shield Golems. I have a bunch of dead stuff for my Rage Dad. We have two Scorpid, Light Shower. Huh. I don't think we play Kill Your Guy's Guy. I might just play Bull Mirror to just clear those. Go face. I want I want the Kazakas to be in my, my pool before I play Raise Dead. We don't want to waste Jacera with like a full hand doing this. I think trading one Thrive for the Lucia would be a good idea. A big part of the reason that I'm playing Kazakas is because I don't want to play a Lucia. Because I think a Lucia is garbage in a huge percentage of matchups. Like, Lucia is fantastic against, like, OTK decks. But, like, it is so bad against any proactive deck, it's, like, something you can't even play most of the time. I would rather play Kazakus and allow my deck to be more proactive so I don't have to play a Lucia as, like, kind of my last-ditch effort against the combo decks. Magic is not a toy. <laughs> There's Kazamicus. I'm looking for a few good mercy. I want to take Rush Copy, but we didn't get it. I want to have more options. It is a really good raise, Dad. I guess guy's so bad if you don't get a copy. I mean, this guy's insane. I'm just gonna soul mirror this. I'm two cards lower in deck than my opponent here. Guess we're just gonna play this. I don't actually have a way to kill that right now. That's interesting. I could have Alex this guy, yeah. Maybe I should have just Alex this guy. I could, 
I definitely should have Alice Guy instead of playing that. Yeah, Kalefoss ethic is kind of hilarious. I need to spend some cards because I need to be able to play Yasser and actually get cards. Ooh, fancy. I have a lot of apotheosis, yeah. Why no insight? Because I, I, I think fatigue is a real concern here. That having plus one plus one here is actually kind of insane. Now I can't, it doesn't die to my condemn. Like I said, Kazakus raised dead. It's pretty powerful. <laughs> I don't have very many cards that do that much left in my deck. Do they also have Kazakus, which means they don't have Samuro or Zarella? Maybe I should just kill their guy with a condemn there, but I don't like that. The good news is their hand is full now. I am one card behind in fatigue, so I'm actually, I have to actually do something, or like, I'm naturally gonna lose. And the cycle of life is reborn anew. They've played five studies. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I'm like so, like multiple cards ahead in fatigue. I didn't play anything that drew other than my two insights, right? Okay. Oh, I thrived, right, there you go. Right, that is, and that's that's a potential argument against playing double thrive. It does make you naturally lose fatigue situation, awkwardly. So this helps make room for Yasera or Yogg, and obviously gains me a bunch of life. And Crick. Oh yeah, I should have Man Crick in my deck. I am out of cards. Eh, we're Yogging. Or do we just Ysera? Maybe Ysera first. Time may pass, but the dream is eternal. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Mancrick's another another thing that's like nice to bring back with like Ray's dead. You get more man uh more like, you know, wives in your deck. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa! What? You just have powered fortitude? With that? That's kind of hilarious. Brilliant. Powered fortitude with this guy. Okay. Huh. Well, I could awaken Condemn, but actually leaves this up. We're just gonna yog. Humph! I have devoured the world. I have a 26 power minion. Your turn. Rude. and hope to apotheosis it. I have no master. Oh. For Ragnaros right there. Uh-huh. Are you sure you don't want to play a minion? Can I give you a minion? Oh, they could have another Hysteria. We haven't seen any copies of Condemn. They would have just double condemned if they had double condemn. Can you play Laughing Sister and not Emerald Drake? Because I don't want to like just lose this to a Holy Smite. Okay, Hysteria. Uh, yeah. It does give me a bunch of life. That's the key, though. Sure, that does nothing. Dream that. Play this. Heal myself. You die to fatigue in two turns. Or if this connects. You just die to fatigue next turn, so you can't just... Ugh, yeah! What a wild game that was. The Gift of Luminance Apotheosis. To gain, like, a huge amount of life, kill my opponent's uh, Runaway Blackwing. For the win, we shall take it. I do think that I probably want to cut Thrives for, like, a Sethic and a Mancrick, though. Thinking about it, like, Thrives only okay. Sethic and Mancrick give you more value to your insights in like longer games. Cause I've had a number of games where I just run out of minions to insight and are both really good raised dead uh, minions as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna tweak this.